Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. All evening long we've been talking about how cold it's going to be tonight, particularly early tomorrow morning. But hey, it is already close to freezing in most spots. 33 degrees right now in Decatur and Florence, 34 in Huntsville, 36 in Scottsboro. The feels like temperatures though, when you factor in a little bit of that north wind, it's feeling like 25 right now in Fayetteville. 29 is what it feels like in Huntsville. Feeling like we are one degree below freezing in Athens. 30 is what it feels like in Scottsboro and Fort Payne. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network lets us know that we don't have to worry about any type of precipitation tonight, whether that be snow or rain. It's nice and quiet and there's no cloud cover. But with that clear sky, that's what's really allowing those temperatures to drop. We are down into the upper 20s by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, but by 9 we're already back into the upper 30s. So if we crack the freezing mark, it looks to me like closer to 8 o'clock by noon just shy of 50 degrees, but that's about it for warming. We do hit our high, but it's only in the lower 50s by mid afternoon, down to 40 degrees again by seven o'clock tomorrow evening. Watch future radar here and you won't see much of anything. We keep it clear tonight, sunny tomorrow, clear tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. A few clouds start moving in and this is what we've got by Wednesday night. As we head into Thanksgiving Day, we will start the day with cloud cover and eventually the rain is going to move in. But for the most part, it looks like the rain's going to be out of here. If you've got some shopping plans on Friday, maybe you've just got travel plans on Black Friday, seven o'clock Friday morning temperatures, one degree shy of freezing there. And then as we get closer to noon, mid forties, by the time we hit five o'clock, we're back down into the mid forties. We will struggle to hit a high near 50 degrees behind yet another cold front that is coming through on Thursday. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second, but I want to give you an idea of what you can see maybe out and about the next couple of days while we'll still have fairly nice weather before the rain returns. This was a photo submitted in the Alabama, the beautiful Facebook group, Carolyn Cavender Alexander. She is the same photographer that captured the albino squirrel up here on Montesano. These are triplets here, white-tailed deer triplets, she says, and notice the coloring on this one in the middle. This is a piebald, so you can see the white and then the regular coloring there. So really interesting shot. A uh, really great capture there. Again, that Facebook group has over 176,000 members. Use the hashtag ATBWAAY31. Join that group and share what you're seeing around the area. Let's talk about the rain that's moving in, right? As we go through the next couple of days, we've got to see the return of the showers. And unfortunately, that does come in on Thanksgiving Day. Showers from the northwest here. Look at the timestamp. Noon on Thursday. Most of the rain is going to come in though late afternoon, early evening for areas along and west of I-65, continuing to track eastward through the evening. Very cold Friday morning as another round of colder air rushes in behind this cold front. But the moisture is out of here and we'll even see some sunshine. We'll just struggle to get to that 50 degree mark Friday afternoon. 50-50 shot at showers on Thanksgiving Day. By the weekend, we are back to highs in the mid-50s.